I've mentioned that I'm very lucky, extremely lucky. You have no idea. In my family, we say that we have the Suarez luck. And it always happens. Sometimes, magically, things just align. I didn't know that I was going to speak today. I learned about that yesterday. And I panicked because I really didn't have to prepare any speech. Nothing, nothing at all. I was blank. I had been super busy at the office. I get home, open my manual, and there it is. Impromptu speaking. I didn't have to prepare anything. Then I provide you a list of topics. Guess what? My icebreaker it's what's called the lucky smile. So I already, I'm already prepared for whatever you want to throw me with that. <laughs> I have a speech prepared for the love of I'm not going to use it completely, but I will give some facts to the people that didn't hear my icebreaker. First, the quick facts. I've been assaulted at gunpoint. Once, I was kidnapped. Once, I people entered to rob my office once, putting a gun to my head. My car was stolen, and I've rolled down the hill in my car at 160 kilometers per hour, 30 meters down. That's how lucky I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's how lucky I am. Think about it. I was kidnapped outside. For a for a couple for well, I didn't know how long it was going to be. People would have gone to my head, my eyes closed, I didn't know where I was, but I was calming down. They snapped this stuff down. Do you need the money? Let's take the money. I'm lucky, it was a flash. Kidnapped. They just wanted the money from the ATMs. Four hours later, they let me go. Not even a swear word to me. I was coming in down. I came out, I'm lucky. When I was on a December 23rd, in the road to a vacation place in Mexico, the beach, I wanted to spend Christmas at the beach. There, I was 160 kilometers per hour. It's a nice road, one of the best roads in Mexico. Something happened to a tire, and the car started swerving, and my car rolled. I can tell you, the car ended up being this big and this tall. I was going with my wife at the time and my two kids that were five and four. Nobody got injured. Had the car rolled once more, and once more I mean from here to here, it was a hundred meter As soon as I was getting out of the car all day, I saw people start coming. It was 11 p.m. at night. People coming down to see if we were okay. A maintenance truck from the highway was just driving by, and they saw that the fence was broken. So someone may have gone down. They came down, stopped cars, called the police. The police came, took us to the ambulance, Everybody was okay. I spent Christmas at my parents' home. Am I lucky? Yes. Once I was walking the street, it was noon, towards my office. And a guy comes, approaches me, and says, Hey, do you know where there's a bicycle shop? I said, No, I work here, but I don't, I don't really live here. Okay, well, give me your money. And he shows me the gun. Give me your money. Yeah, I really almost cracked that. It's like, I don't have money. I'm not a cash guy. I always carry the, my ATM card. I don't have money. I pull down my pockets, get my wallet, nothing. What's on your suitcase? Oh, my suitcase, my half-eaten lunch. Do you want it? Take it. I have nothing else. I had a printer that I had just bought. Do you want a printer? Take it. No. Okay, you're lucky today. Shakes my hand and keeps walking. <laughs> I keep walking. 
And the last one, I was at the office. I was at my boss and the president of the company uh, office. And we always got people announced when they went into our offices. So we see a guy coming into to the office. And he looks at me like, what's up with this guy? And very soon we found out what was up with this guy. He had a gun like this big. <laughs> Oh, it was, I don't know what size, but it looked this big. It says, okay, come out. And they take us to the coffee room. Everybody. My boss stands at the front and says, okay, you want the payroll money? Because uh, there was a factory and employees, but they, in Mexico they get paid in cash. The bank was in the same building. We were just waiting for the accountant to help to just come up with the money. They got there, took the money, and left. Nobody got hurt, nobody got injured. How is that for luck? Do you think that that was a good topic? Do you think I'm a lucky man? In Mexico, especially in Mexico. <laughs> Why am I here in Canada? <laughs> I don't want to abuse my luck. <laughs> I think I've exhausted all my luck over there. But then I come to Canada I, after living in Mexico City for a long time, and I made up my mind. I want to live in a small town and work for a big company. When I came to Canada, I got to Toronto, and I started working at a smaller company. Well, you get whatever you can when it's your first job in Canada. Ten months later, out of the blue, a cold call for my life. Do you want to come for an interview? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and I get to move to Kitchener Waterloo, working for the largest insurance in Canada. It seems that my stars are, are aligned. Now, if I told you the luck that my brother, sister, father, mother had, I think it would be a longer conversation. <laughs> By now, I'm pretty sure that you can believe that I'm the luckiest man I know.